I'm just getting it up on my screen here so that I can see why is it appearing on my screen here so I can see your comments as they come through here we go turn my voice off of there hello say hello if you're here i've bit my nail down too short and it's so painful um say hello if you're here say hello if you're ready i've got a feminist mug a mysterious girl jumper hello fully booked hello simmy hello gina hello louise hello estelle hello rebecca hello scarlett hello sue Estelle's ready. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Michelle. Estelle is ready again. Hello, Amy. Hello, all about the page, Kayla. Hello, Victoria. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome to impromptu times of Women's Prize for Sh Women's Prize for Fiction shortlist party <laughs> so um the shortlist is being announced in 15 minutes um i did a video like this for the long list announcement which obviously we didn't have any idea of what that would be um and this is going to be my reaction to um thank you so much estelle uh this is going to be my reaction to the shortlist um now i've done my very best to read the whole long list which was 16 books and i've read 13 of them so I'm feeling pretty pleased and that h highly means uh, it means if <laughs> I'll be able to speak about at the very least half of the shortlist I've got so much lip balm on look you can see around my mouth that means I'll be able to speak at the very least half of the long list because even if the long list is three of the books I've read and three of the books I haven't read I've done that the books I haven't read are the golden rule which I was never going to read anyway. A few people have asked me about that. Um, the author of The Golden Rule, Amanda Craig, I believe her name is, um, she stood in support of J.K. Rowling's, tran what I believe to be transphobic views. Um, and that's why I decided not to read uh, The Golden Rule. So that one was never going to be read by me. Uh, and I've always found it a bit bizarre that it was on there anyway, because there's a trans author on there as well. So... Mm. Um, and then the other two I haven't read. I haven't read Summer. Um... It's on my library um, reservations, hasn't come in yet. And I I will read it, even if it doesn't make the shortlist, I will still read it um, because I quite like the, the, the trilogy, but just haven't got around to reading it. And then the last one I haven't read, which I'm really surprised, is um, Unsettled Ground by Claire Fuller, which I was super excited to read when I bought it. Um, this was one that I bought straight away from uh, Waterstones that very evening. And yeah, I just never got around to reading it. So I will probably also read this as well. So those are the three that I haven't read. Um, I'm just having a look. So <laughs> Silly Seal says it would be hilarious if all the ones you have not read are shortlisted. It would be hilarious and also pretty bad luck. Um, Victoria said, I did not know that. I'm not too upset that I didn't get to read The Golden Rule. Um, Dan said, I didn't know that she supported JK's comments. Good to know that. Uh, Claire says, hi, glad to know you're feeling better. I managed to read seven. Point nine books. I'm <laughs> very nearly done with Luster, which is a personal best for me. Well done. Amber says hello. Um, yeah, so we're going to, I mean, we've got 12 minutes until the shortlist is announced. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you to anyone who was uh, super kind to me today after I had a little, um, I had a bit of a moment. I, I, I saw that this was coming out today, the shortlist was coming out today, and um, I thought, oh, well, I might do a live uh, video as I did for the long list, and, um, but then also realised that there was other booktubers doing it, and I've been feeling a bit sort of like booktube flat for a while, um, just sort of like in my own head of like, oh, or any of my um like are any of my videos any good um like am i enjoying this are people enjoying watching this um and just had a bit of a moment really and then after i asked if you guys wanted me to do a video i sort of put it out there because like i feel like it's good to share these things because literally six weeks ago i was like flying high with all the ideas having a lovely time and then now i just think oh i don't really know what like is this still good um so yeah i think it's good to sh to share those moments as well as the high moments um but everybody was just so hi john everybody was just so lovely and so kind and said so many lovely things um about 
my channel and me and it was just lovely and it was a real boost and lovely so I thought yeah let's do the fucking live show <laughs> so here I am doing imposter syndrome is exactly how I felt so thank you so much um yeah so and, and I mean I've been doing this is the longest hobby I've ever had um and this I've been doing this for god I mean who can who can remember who's been here since the beginning when I had the Mickey Mouse wall behind me um and uh, yeah that was about like eight years ago I think eight years ago maybe not quite eight years ago but a long time I've been doing this this is my longest hobby ever you're all so lovely you're saying such lovely things I will go back and read all of these I can't read them now because I'll probably cry mm -hmm. <laughs> um, um but yeah so um I've been doing this for a long time and yeah I guess like a lot of because it's booktube a lot of the content is the same but the things you said back to me were just so lovely and that you were here for me and even if stuff is the same it's nice to see the things I read because um like you don't all like a lot of people were saying they watch YA booktubers and then they watch me so it's good to see that from there yeah people were there from the Mickey Mouse well wow um and yeah, I guess there is other stuff and I've done cozy reading night and things like that. And, and another thing I sort of said to myself as I was talking to David about this is that I was saying that I love sort of repetition and comfort and I, I get a lot of comfort um, in repetition. So the same old stuff that I'm putting out, like if I was a viewer of mine, I'd be happy <laughs> that it's not changing all the time. So I had to have a bit of a chat with myself, which I did. But thank you so much. That's why I'm doing this video now, because I've sort of thought, oh, no, maybe I wouldn't have really, maybe I shouldn't do it. Loads of other people are doing it. People have got better views than me. But like, you believe in yourself. You've got to believe in yourself. So thank you so much for everybody and all for the people who are seeing, uh, who are writing these things now. You might not have seen my little sulk I had on Instagram earlier. But yeah, it's lovely. Um, thank you so much. And um, there's lots of people here saying, I've been here since the Mickey Mouse Wall. I've always loved your videos. You're my absolute favourite. Mwah, Catherine, lovely stuff. Um, so yeah, so nine minutes until the announcement. Um, so you may have seen, if you're, if you're not, if you don't follow me on um you don't follow me on Instagram you won't have seen this but um I did a sort of like sample vote where I took everybody's um I I, I put out a, an Instagram story and I said oh if you've read anything from the uh, from the long list and really enjoyed it or if you've only read one thing from the long list and let me know etc etc and I got 420 votes um of what people had loved and what people had read and things like that um and I put them in a league table here with the percentage of vote that they got now no one is talking about this and the golden rule got no votes. Um, so they haven't made the board. Um, with 1% of the votes is consent, nothing but blue sky, because of you and how the one-armed sister um, sweeps her house. I'm not going to leave that up there. You can't bloody see it. With 3% of the vote was burnt sugar, exciting times, unsettled ground and summer. And then upwards of this, now there there is only six books here. So really, if we're to go by what the vote says... Um, this could be the shortlist. So, Luster got 6% of the vote. I've got Luster here. Um, I think this will be on the shortlist. I wasn't mad about it. In fact, I was a bit sort of um, disappointed with it, to be honest. I thought it was going to be... Um, I, thought I was expecting a lot more, and really it fell quite flat. And even now, sort of trying to find something to um, talk about in it is a bit... Mm, so, yeah, but I know it's beloved to a lot of people, and a lot of people have really enjoyed it. So I could see this being on the long list. Then 8% of the vote went to Detransition Baby by Tori Peters. Now, um, I read this and we discussed this for my Patreon book club. I know a few of the Patreons are here. I've seen you. I've seen you in the comments. Um, and I really, really loved this book anyway. And um, after we had the discussion, I, it was one of the best book club discussions we've ever had. It was so good. Um, and I really, really like this. And I really hope it's in the on the shortlist. Um, and I think it will be. I think it will be. Um, next up is Transcendent Kingdom, which I don't have. I read on my Kindle, uh, on my e-reader, and very much enjoyed it. Um, so I've just seen a Voyage of a Time Wanderer says, I'm really hoping Transcendent Kingdom makes the shortlist. I think it will. Um, and then Sue saying, I thought Luster would be my favourite, but fortunately it was not. I love small pleasures the most. Charlotte Cook said, if Transcendent Kingdom isn't on the shortlist, it's over for me in books. I'll never read one again. Let's, well, I hope, Charlotte, for that sake. Um, Dan said, I'm gutted I missed book club this time. I'd have loved to chat about it with everyone. Yeah, we had a great time, but watch the video back, Dan. You'll have a lovely time. Um, so yeah, so that was the third book. Then fourth is Small Pleasures, which got, uh, sorry, in, in third place was Small Pleasures, um, which got 11%. Again, I read it on my e-reader. Really, really loved this book. Gave it four stars. It would have been five stars if it hadn't been for the stupid fucking ending. Sorry, Kayla. But um, yeah, the, 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 the ending just completely threw me off. 
Then 23% of the vote, um, I wasn't surprised at this at all, was The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. I gave this uh, five stars last year, it's one of my favourite books of last year. Um, and then top book, I've got to be really careful with this because this I read, <laughs> I read Piranesi on my e-reader. I don't think my sister will be watching this, but if she is, sorry, this is one of your birthday presents. <laughs> Bought her. And look, I've already got a bit of a smudge on it. That won't stay clean in her house very much. But yeah, I've got the book here of Piranesi um, and uh, this got the most amount of votes with 28% of the vote. And this was my favourite of the, the, the long list. So yeah, I really hope it makes it. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Jane says, the blurb for Transcendent Kingdom is really off-putting, but people who've read it describe uh who've read it and describing it has made me think twice about it absolutely um <laughs> sue says oh that ending i think you mean the ending of um small pleasures susanna said i really hope detransition baby and vanishing half will be on the shortlist and not just because those are the ones i've read already and i'm planning to read the shortlist samantha says this is so cute you've helped so many of us in covid just to be able to escape for 10 minutes on a tea break at work when things at time get stressful you are so kind samantha thank you so much Charlie says, small pleasures, I nearly threw them across my bedroom at the end, made me rant a little to my family. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? I went and like, I said to David, I can't believe, I can't, I can't believe what's just happened. I can't, I can't believe this. <laughs> so yeah, I, um, I really loved it. Um, I listened, I didn't read it on my e-reader. I listened to the audio book of it. I listened to the audio book of it. And my mum also has access to my um, Audible account because you can have it on a few devices. And she's currently listening to Small Pleasure. So I'll be interested to find out what she thinks of the ending as well. Um, oh my God, I've just realised because of you. We didn't mention, oh yeah, because it only got 1% of the vote. Um, Joanna says, woo, we love Piranesi, we do. Dan says, Piranesi has to be one of the most original books I've ever made, read. Incredible to think somebody made that world in their head. Absolutely. And I read it and thought it was fantastic. I was so endeared to Piranesi the whole way through and so clever. My colleagues read it and um, we've been working from home. Like we haven't worked in this. We were in the same office today for the first time in a year. Um, and we'd been, I, I asked, I said to her, oh, I think you should read it. And we were talking about it and I just love chatting about that book. So yeah, really, really great um book and angeline said you are brilliant you give so so many of us so much pleasure oh, thank you so much jane says don't spoil the ending i've only just started it i will not spoil the ending i won't spoil there won't be any spoilers about plot or anything here but yeah I, 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 it would like i can't i can't talk about that book without saying that the ending for me brought it down a star because that is like it would have been a five star book for me otherwise i can't believe there's 160 of you here chatting about it so those are the thoughts what do you think will be on the shortlist if you've read, I can just see that Anna and Eric's video has just started as well. They're also doing a video to, uh, and I love watching their content. So um, yeah, I will definitely be watching watching their video about the, uh, the Women's Prize after that. So yeah, what do you think should be on there? Um, shame people didn't vote because of you. I love Dawn French and she can really work characters that feel real. So yeah, I listened to the audiobook of uh, Because of You. I was um, I, I was surprised to see it on the long list um, because I think it's quite sort of popular fiction. Um, but I really enjoyed it. And again, that's another one that my mum and sister have listened to and both really, really loved, which was really nice because we very rarely sort of overlap with um, what what our what our tastes are. So it's really nice to be able to sort of chat about that. Um, Dan says, I think Vanishing Half has to be on there. I agree. I would be surprised if The Vanishing Half wasn't on there. So the top six after the special vote was Piranesi, The Vanishing Half, Small Pleasures, Transcendent Kingdom, Detransition Baby and Luster. Now, if I was picking my favourite, I would remove Luster and pop um, Exciting Times up there. So my six would be Piranesi, The Vanishing Half, Small Pleasures, Transcendent Kingdom, Detransition Baby and, and Exciting Times. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I'm just seeing if anybody else has said anything else that they think will be on there. Nobody else has yet. I'm digging deep on the old tea, that's nice. So yes, I'm very much looking forward to reading Unsettled Ground. I, I, I would be surprised it, it, it scored quite, although it got 3%, so, but um, yeah, I can't believe I haven't read that. Does anyone do that thing? Like, where they buy something, looks forward to it so much and they don't read it. Joe reckons that the list, the vote is going to be the list. If it is, then we fucking cracked it, guys. We'll have to do it every single year and we can predict it. And can you make money off this sort of thing? Probably not, but I think maybe we, <laughs> we would have done it. So it wasn't just me that's predicted it. Um, the only thing that I would change is I'd probably get rid of Luster and put exciting times in there, but I reckon Luster will be on there. 
Um, Heidi said, I love Transcendent Kingdom. Can't wait to read some more Pleasures and Detransition Baby. Amy thinks that we've predicted it. Silly says, I wonder, Silly Seal says, I wonder how many of the Penguin books will be on the shortlist due to the controversy when the long list was announced. Sue says, I'm excited. Small Pleasures, Detransition Baby, Transcendent Kingdom and def should definitely be on the shortlist. Detransition Baby... Cross, fingers crossed from Tom. Louise said, I hope Detransition Baby is on. I'm currently reading Small Pleasures. Victoria says, Unsettled Ground is my favourite cover, though I haven't read it yet. Right, okay, we are... It's 18.29, guys. I'm, I'm doing the thing where I was on the website last year and the Twitter... Uh, earlier this year. And the Twitter... Earlier this year. It was, wasn't it? It was March. Um, still hasn't been... No, nothing yet. Nothing quite yet. Um, Rosanne says Piranesi, yeah. I'll be so sad if Piranesi doesn't make it. I will be sad. I will be sad if Piranesi doesn't make it. Yeah, here we go. Right. Um, people hating the end of Small Pleasures only makes me want to read it more. It's on my shelf waiting for me, like every other book I need to have read and been putting off. Right, it is half past six. Let's have a look. Oh, it's just so, right, is it going to announce it? Because this is how I found out last time. I should be writing this down. I haven't got a pen. We'll have to remember together. The video's gone up live on the Twitter feed. I'm just watching it now. We've now come up with our shortlist, and I hope you'll find the books fascinating, rich, and as varied as one would expect from women's fiction, says Bernadine Evaristo. It's been really difficult whittling down from the long list of 16 books to six books, and we had a very long and intense judging process, and we've come up with the six books, and here they are. Transcendent Kingdom, How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House, uh, Unsettled Ground, The Vanishing Half, No One Is Talking About This, and Piranesi. Whoa! Right, okay, so what have I got? Piranesi, Transcendent Kingdom I don't have. Let me see, because it's gone to another um, It's gone to another page now, so let me see if I can get them all. I'm gonna get a pen, because otherwise I'm gonna be confused. Hold on. <laughs> I've got pajama buttons on! So I definitely didn't predict it, guys, but I'm delighted that Piranesi's on there. Let's have a look. No, it's not on the actual website yet. Right, so Transcendent, so it was Piranesi, it was Transcendent Kingdom. What else? Oh, I don't think Detransition Baby was on there. I think fucking no one is talking about this was on there. So what mm. the hell? Right, The Vanishing Half is on there. The Vanishing Half, Piranesi, Transcendent Kingdom, Unsettled Ground, I think was on there. Unsettled Ground, no one is talking about this. And I think it was How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Right, okay, I think I've got it, guys. So, I think it was Piranesi, The Vanishing Half, Transcendent Kingdom, Unsettled Ground, How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House, and No One Is Talking About This. I think that's it. That is a mad list. That is mad. Right, okay, so. Three books from, so I've read all but one of them. So that's pretty good. So I haven't read Unsettled Ground and I wanted to read Unsettled Ground. So very, very excited to read this. We'll talk about what's on the list first and then we'll talk about what's not on the list because I think I can already see that there's a bit of um, disappointment that Detransition Baby hasn't made it. So Unsettled Ground, I'll read the blurb of this if people haven't read it already because I, I haven't read it. Twins Jeannie and Julius have always been different from other people. At 51 years old, they still live with their mother, Dot, in rural isolation and poverty. Inside the walls of their old cottage, they make music and in the garden they grow and sometimes kill everything they need for sustenance. But when Dot dies suddenly, threats to their livelihood start raining down. Jeannie and Julius would do anything to preserve their small sanctuary against the perils of the outside world, even as their mother's secrets begin to unravel, putting everything they thought they knew about their lives at stake. Unsettled Ground is a heart-stopping novel of betrayal and resilience, love and survival. It's a portrait of life on the fringes of society that explore with dazzling emotional power how we can build our lives on broken foundations and spin light from darkness. So that's that. And... As somebody earlier said, this is a beautiful cover and it really is the most gorgeous cover. It's absolutely lovely. Has anybody, there's 170 of us here, has anybody read this? Um, and what thoughts did you have on um, Unsettled Ground with no, um, yeah, don't give any any spoilers away, but yeah, what did, thoughts did you have on this? So yeah, this, um, this has made the shortlist. So 
looking forward to reading it. As I said, I was looking forward to reading it. But yeah, there we go. That's that. I'll wait and see. I'm just going to have a sip of tea, see if there's anyone's... It's just a lot of people cross that do transition, baby. Oh, right, okay. So Laura, I haven't watched Lena's video yet. So Laura's just said that Lena gave a raving review of this. So Lena, um, Lena Norms, whose booktube channel I fucking love, um, she has done a video, which I haven't watched yet, of her um, reviewing all of the books that are on the long list. And Laura's just said that she gave a rave review of this. So that's good to know. Um, and yeah, I'll be reading it. So many people cross about detransition baby right okay uh, we'll come back to that if anybody comes uh, this is a lot more this is how my uh, patreon book club uh, runs but there's not 179 of us there, so this is a bit bad. right emily says i love unsettled ground it's unre unrelentingly bleak but i loved it and Rosie said, Lena also loved No One Is Talking About This. Okay, let's talk about No One Is Talking About This next. Um, this I gave one star. I fucking hated it. I didn't understand it. It's a very short little book. What I didn't realise when I got into it is that it's the first part of it is different tweets. It felt like I was being left out of a lovely fun club. And I, not a lovely, not even a fun club, but like this book was just going on... I didn't understand what was going on. I didn't understand what was going on and it made me cross that I didn't understand what was going on. The first half of the book I found out afterwards is written in tweets. There's a lot of talk in there which about a dictator, which I assumed at the time was Trump um, and turns out it was Trump. But the whole thing was madness for me. It did absolutely nothing for me apart from made me feel like left out and grumpy so I really really didn't like it but I know like somebody just said Lena really loved it I know Anna James loved it as well um but yeah I just didn't get it I just didn't get it as well uh, at all so um let's have a look so what have people said so Jaina said I wonder if no one is talking about this is this year's weather Fabian said I'm really I'm currently reading Unsettled Ground I'm really like it so far I'm glad uh Joe says I really hated no one is talking about this at all at all <laughs> so good um Victoria said, I really liked it, but I think it's a Marmite sort of book. You either love it or you hate it. April says, I've read Unsettled Ground. Really enjoyed reading from the perspective of older protagonists and a look at rural poverty. Something we don't often talk about. Disappointed about Detransition Baby. Dan says, I feel like I'd almost feel the author saying, look how clever I am making these right comments about the internet in the first half. Right, okay, good. I'm glad. Well, I didn't even get, I was just like, I was just so, I felt so... Hump, humpy about the whole thing. Melissa says, while I didn't love no one is talking about this, I can for sure see why it made the shortlist. Probably resonates more with people who are probably a little too incessant social media scrolling. <laughs> Lena, Lena, we've just been talking about you. <laughs> so Lena, I hadn't read Unsettled Ground. It's one of the only ones that I hadn't read and it's just made the shortlist. So looking forward to reading this. And I've... Uh, I was saying I hadn't read it, but people were saying you've given it rave reviews. And then also I was saying that I read um, No One Is Talking About This and fucking hated it and gave it one star because I didn't understand what was going on. I felt really left out. Like I just didn't, I, I was just being left out of this sort of like book that was much cleverer than me and it all just went way over my head. So those are the two we discussed so far. Then if we move on to how the one-armed sister sweeped her house. Now, I read this and thinking... I was going to really enjoy this and it just sort of was fine for me. <laughs> RIP, RIP our friendship. So this was just fine for me. Um, I was interested to read, like it, it's a series, so it's set in Bar Barbados and it's a, um, it's a collection of um, people talking about um, the events of um, one night's robbery, which ends up becoming a murder. Um, and on that very same night, one of the characters gives birth to a baby and then following this, this is all happens very early, so it's not spoilers. Um, that baby dies and then it's following sort of like the events of that. Um, I thought I was going to be much more invested in this than I was. And like I said, I, I mean, I remember the plot, but I don't remember much else apart from that. I don't feel like it made me feel much. Um, and I gave it three stars. And now when I look back at it and look back and think, oh, it gave me three stars. I gave it three stars. But if I'm looking back at it thinking, uh, I, so I can sort of remember the plot, I guess, which is good. But yeah, like I said, it didn't really make me feel very much. So I'm also surprised to see this on here. Surprised. Surprised. Uh, let's have a look. Um... Georgia says, I love no one is talking about this. Found the second half incredibly moving and can totally see why you wouldn't like it. Jenny says, hi, Lena. Uh, Kelly says, I've read Unsettled Ground. And whilst I enjoyed reading about middle-aged characters in a rural setting, which doesn't come up in novels, I thought it was fine. Just fine, not worthy. 
um, in my opinion. Jo says, I really did love the one arm sister. It was a lot more different than I expected, but definitely might not um, be for everyone. And Lena says, I agree, it was fine for me. Lena, your video is on my <laughs> to watch video. I can't believe I didn't watch it before that. You got five out of six right. I got three out of six right. Mm. Um, uh, Grace says, I hope they aren't trying to avoid another turf letter by not shortlisting detransition, baby. I really hope that's not what's going on. Right, okay. So we've done those three. So the next three are going to be ones that were in itchy nose, in the sort of like what I'd predicted. So the first one is Transcendent Kingdom by Yar Jesse. Um, now I read this um, on my e-reader earlier this year. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Um, it is about a woman who is a, I think she's a neuroscientist. Um, and uh, it's her sort of like, there's a lot of balance in this book between science and religion. Um, her brother um, dies um, in the book and I don't want to give away what he dies of because I don't know that that's, I, I don't know if that's explained because I don't have the book here. I don't know if it's in the blurb, um, but it's all sort of linked. So there's a lot of links going on and there's a lot of discussion about science and religion. Um, she's looking after her mother who is now um, very unwell and um, her, her mother was previously very, very religious. And yeah, there's just a lot going on. And I really enjoyed it. It was the first book of Yar Jessie's that I'd read. And I know that um, it had been very, uh, she's a very popular author. I've actually just bought one of her books in a charity shop. What's the famous like first one, that, uh, Homegoing, that everybody loves? So yeah, I've just bought that. So I'm really excited to, to read that as well. I thought this would be on the, um, on the shortlist. And actually when I started asking people what, um, what they'd enjoyed off the shortlist, Transcendent Kingdom took a very early lead and then um, sort of lagged a bit behind and then only ended up with 8% of the vote from the, the, the votes that I got in. So I was surprised that it didn't, it didn't place higher. But yeah, it made it to the shortlist, so that's good news. Um, Victoria says, love Transcendent Kingdom. I read it from my library, but my... my by my own copy. Steph says, I'm a quarter into Transcendent Kingdom. Good so far, but happy to hear how much people loved it. Makes me want to crack on. Joe says, Amy and I are reading Transcendent Kingdom together soon. Yay. Mothgolf says, Transcendent Kingdom is amazing. I just finished it a few days ago. Mm. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed the writing style as well. So I was very excited. So I think maybe my, my thoughts about Homegoing was that I, I wondered if it was a bit highbrow for me and, 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 and hadn't avoided it because of that reason, but I just thought, oh no, it seems a bit... Uh, um, but yeah, now I just want to read all the R. Jesse stuff because I fucking loved it. Right, okay. Then we've got The Vanishing Half, um, which was predicted and I think this came second on the uh, on, on the on the vote that we made um, uh, by Britt Bennett. Um, this was one of my favourite books of last year. Wonderful book. Really enjoyed it about um, a set of sisters, um, the Venus sisters who are identical, but they are uh, they run away age 16 and they are able to pass as white. Uh, one sister in particular goes on to live um, a life. She marries a white man. She has a white passing daughter um, and doesn't reveal her black uh, a black sort of history and the other sister marries a very dark skinned black man and has a black past black passing is that how you would describe it daughter um, I really enjoyed the sister story and I really enjoyed the cousin story so the daughters of the sisters um, and yeah I loved it and then I went on so I enjoyed it so much I went on to read passing by Nella Larson which is the the book that this is um, sort of based on um, and I also read the mothers by Britt Bennett afterwards um, because I, again I just loved I love the writing and yeah I think this might be due a reread for me. I only, like I read it last year. Last year feels like a million years ago now, doesn't it? But yeah, I remember um, getting so much joy out of it. I must have read it. It must have been out quite early last year as well, because I remember reading The Mothers in the summer um, when I was out for a picnic with David. Like I remember, have, I remember vividly that book being there, and that was hot. Like it was hot. So I must have read this early doors. Um, so yes, yeah, very very pleased that that is there. Um, uh, Compassion for All says, love Transcendent Kingdom. It takes place in Palo Alto, about three miles away from me, which made it even more interesting to me. Oh, very exciting. Um, Sophie Fillion says, homegoing is so, 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 so good. Um, Steph La, uh, Lake says, love Vanishing Half, favourite book of the year so far. Emily said, I'm so thrilled that Jessie is getting international attention. She is from my neck of the woods in Alabama. So happy that what a Southern author can be exciting. Uh, and Lena says, I'm the same, absolutely have to read Home Going Now. Uh, Joe says, I'm so happy for Britt Bennett. Steph says, is Mothers good? Yeah, I enjoyed The Mothers. Um, I'm not a big one for um, reading books about motherhood and a book with the title The Mothers. <laughs> sort of what made me think, mm, I, I don't know, but I'd loved um, Vanishing Half so much um, that I wanted to read it. And it was very good. There's some, um, there's some really interesting parts in there that are sort of told from a, um, a group voice, which is... Um, 
something that I don't often read in books. It, it sort of it reminded me a little bit of The Virgin Suicides, just purely from that vo voice side of things. There's not much else going on there uh, in terms of like themes matching up. But yeah, really thought The Mothers was good. Again, I wonder if I will reread re this. Mm, who knows? Um, Joe is telling Steph that The Mothers is so good. Um, Kayla says, even though I don't agree with the list, doesn't its excitement make you so excited to just read? Yeah, I am really excited to read Unsettled Ground now. And I feel like I'll make it a bit of a priority. I wonder if I can get it... No, no way. It's Wednesday night. I was thinking, I wonder if I can get it done by Saturday. Because on Saturday, I start reading Little Women and all Little Women retellings. It might have to wait till June, but we'll see. Um, Holly said, I read Parting in Uni when we studied the Harlem Renaissance. Can't wait to pick up the vanishing half. Oh, good. You're in for a real treat. Um, and Steph is popping the mothers and home going on the TBR. And then the last book, thanks goodness, is um, Piranesi by Susanna Clarke. So thank goodness this made, because this is my favourite book of the list. Uh, one of my favourite books I've read this year. One of my favourite books I've read ever, you know, I think. I really, really loved it. This is so hard to describe. Also, as I've said, my sister definitely isn't here, but this, I, I read it on my e-reader and I bought this copy for my sister for her birthday. So I'm trying to be very, very, very careful with it. But the front cover is just beautiful. Um, and the end papers, look at that. Real booktube content that you get in the end papers being shown. Anyway, so this is a book. It's really, 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 really confusing to explain. But you're following somebody called Piranesi who lives in a place um, that's made up of many, many, many halls. And Piranesi writes um, in a diary every day. And the only um, contact he has um, with any other living person um, is somebody that he meets up um, with on a Tuesday and a Friday. And he calls this friend the other. Um, and then he talks to the other about what he's learnt, what he's seen in these halls. Um, and yeah, this is just like an actual imagination builder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I feel like it's so perfect to sort of like... Um, to really open up your imagination and to imagine how these halls look and what Piranesi is doing and the routes Piranesi takes and um, the, the the like the, the routines he takes and things like that. I thought it was fantastic and so I was so endeared to Piranesi the whole way through. And yeah, Lucy's just said, I worried that Piranesi would be too clever for me to get my head around. I I would have I would also be worried about that, but Piranesi, the warmth that comes from Piranesi is so lovely and it's just, it was just so endearing. I really, really enjoyed it and I thought, it was just wonderful. A lot of people saying, what genre is it? And it's it's been it's been sort of said as fantasy. I'm not a fantasy reader and don't really read much fantasy. And also, historically, I believe that not much fantasy stuff has ever made it to the Women's Prize list. Um, so whilst I'm delighted it's here, I'm even more pleased it's here. Um, but yeah, it's it's just it was just madness, but beauty and like yeah, just so much going on and so much delight for it. Yeah, and Lena's just said it's easy to follow and read. I'd say, and I absolutely would agree. Yeah, so you're reading a lot of um, Piranesi's um, diary entries and things like that, which are laid out very easy and like I said, readable. So yeah, there we go. So that is the six. I'll read them out again. Piranesi by Susanna Clark, The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett, Transcendent Kingdom by Yar Jesse, Unsettled Ground by Claire Fuller, How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House by Sherry Jones, and no one is talking about this. I haven't got it here. Is it Jacqueline Woodson? Jacqueline Woodson, I think that's it. Um, oh, when you take the jacket off, it's beautiful. Let's have a look. Oh, it is. Look at it. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, I've got to be really careful with this because this is my sister's. Patricia Lockwood. What did I say? Woodson. God, that's Patricia, Patricia Lockwood. Thank you so much, everybody, who got that right, who, who's corrected me. So, yeah, um, let's have a look. Piranesi is the only book on the list that I've managed to get to so far. I love books where you have to accept the reality they give you. It really worked in Piranesi, absolutely. Um, Jane says Susanna Clark was housebound with a chronic illness when she wrote it. So, in a way, it's perfect for lockdown and the pandemic. I did not know that. Um, Patricia Lockwood, lovely. Yeah, great. So there we go. So um, that's what's on the list. Let's now have a chat about what's not on the list. So um, the books that I thought would be on the list and haven't made it, Small Pleasures. Um, why, why, why? I mean, I guess this is quite popular fiction and probably that's why it scored so highly in terms of the votes. Um, disappointed to see it on there, but like I said, the ending really pissed me off. <laughs> so, yeah. 
yeah, I can sort of, I forgive it. Um, have you read about the real Piranesi and his paintings of prison he invented? Yeah, when I Googled Piranesi to look for the front cover, because when I was doing my wrap up, I had, like, I didn't have the book here with me um, and got into a sort of like wormhole of all those paintings. Um, and then the, uh, the next one um, that I thought was going to be in the top was Detransition Baby. And the, the sort of majority of what you guys have said is that you're really disappointed um, that Detransition Baby didn't make it. And so am I. I really enjoyed the book. I gave it four stars. Um, and like I said, we read it for my Patreon book club and had a lovely time discussing it. Like, like I said, one of the best discussions we've ever had. Um, it's a, um, I didn't say what um, Small Pleasures was about, but <laughs> Detransition Baby is um, a story about um, a trans, a, a, a chap called Ames who was a trans woman and has detransitioned um, to become uh, Ames when he was previously living as a trans woman, Amy. When he, when um, Ames was living as Amy, they uh, they were in a uh, relationship with a trans woman called Reese. Um, and Ames now has got a co-worker pregnant and is interested in getting Reese involved in the um the relationship and the bringing up of this unborn child um and yeah you go back to sort of like Ames and Reese being uh, Amy and Reese being together you're with Ames and Katrina now what the relationship is like between Ames and Reese now and Katrina and Reese's sort of blossoming um friendship and relationship um and yeah loved it thought it was great really 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 disappointed not to see it on there and somebody earlier said I wonder if they're trying to avoid another turfs letter i really fucking hope that's not the case but yeah there we go so didn't make it that's my biggest disappointment i feel sad about that also luster didn't make it which i did think it would i know it's sort of super super duper beloved um so yeah i'm surprised that didn't make it, it wasn't one of my favorites i gave it two stars um i, I went to it thinking it was, i was gonna absolutely love it but yeah didn't didn't love it uh burnt sugar um hasn't made it exciting times uh, that was one that I, if I was going to sort of replace anything on that list that we'd come come up with together, I probably would have put Exciting Times in there over Luster. Um, Summer by Ali Smith, I'm actually very surprised to see in there. Ali Smith is very beloved by the Women's Prize and is almost always on the long list and the short list, um, particularly these past years with the, um, with the seasonal quartet. She's had a book come out every year um, from a different season and this is the last, this is the final um, book in the seasonal quartet, Summer. So yeah, surprised not to see that there. Consent was a book that I very much enjoyed. I don't think I ever, there was no sort of design. I never thought it would it would make it. Um, nothing but Blue Sky. I've got the book here, but I actually listened to it on audiobook. Um, I found it a bit dull. Like the blurb here sort of says about um, David's, um, David's wife, Mary Rose, dies quite suddenly. And then on looking back at his relationship, his marriage, he finds um, some sort of like, well, I feel like the blurb led me to believe that there was going to be juicy revelations. But for me, that like I put in my Instagram review, the only revelation I got was that David was a boring bastard, <laughs> miserable, and Mary Rose could have done much better. So yeah, that didn't make it. Because of You by Dawn French didn't make it. And I was not surprised that that didn't make it. I think it's very popular fiction. And I feel like it was, I, I said this when the when I made the video about the shortlist, or maybe even when I was wrapping it up, but Sometimes I wonder if books are put, sort of put there as a sort of lure, like a carrot to come and to come and read these, uh, to come and read the rest of these books, come and read the rest of the long list. You, if you like this, you'll really like this. If you can read a Dawn French, but you can read any of these books, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, but again, I got I got I got much more from that than I did this. <laughs> so there we go. I gave that three stars, I think. Um, and then the last one that didn't make it was The Golden Rule by Amanda Craig, um, which I can't comment on because I haven't read and I won't be reading. So there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Um, I loved exciting times, says Lucy. I'm surprised it didn't make it. I still can't decide if I loved Luster or not. I read it last month. Amy said I was very surprised by Summer as well. I didn't necessarily love the book, but I love she's a beloved author. Lena says, I mean, I loved it, but agreed, definitely missold. Dania says, what are the target audience of these books, by the way? I would say adult, like, well, anyone really from adult. There's definitely not so many sort of young adult and middle grade themes, but adult. Boff Goff says, I like Consent a lot and was happy to see a book from Canada make it in, but I didn't necessarily expect it on the shortlist. Steph said, I know I really enjoyed the read, but nearly threw it out the window at the end. Um, I think you're talking about small, small Pleasures. Emily says, I felt really disappointed by Small Pleasures and not just the ending. It felt a bit twee and like caricatures rather than the developed characters. Not sad not to see it on the list. Oh, there we go. And 
Sophie's agreeing with Moff Goff about consent and happy to see a book from Canada make it on the list. So there we go. I'll just go over the list one more time. What we have is Piranesi, The Vanishing Half, Transcendent Kingdom, Unsettled Ground, How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House and No One Is Talking About This. Where are you going to next? If you've read all of those books, wonderful, well done. If you haven't read any of them, where do you think you'll go first? Um, if you've read some of them. my The only one I haven't read is Unsettled Ground by Claire Fuller. So I will be going... Maybe not straight there because I've got, I've got a lot, I've got, well, could I finish this before Saturday? I don't know. I've got Great British Menu and um, uh, Sewing Bee to watch tonight, so I don't know. But this is where I will be going. This is the only one in the, in the six that I haven't read. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll be reading. But interested to hear what you guys are going to be going to next. Um, I can hear David. Is that you getting out of the bath, David? Yeah. He's out of the bath. Um, I haven't read The Golden Rule, no. Um, I'll be picking up Transcendent Kingdom soon, then hopefully onto Unsettled Ground, says Amy. Uh, Leanne's saying I can do it. You think I can get this done by Saturday? Oh, I don't know. I'm working full time the next two days as well. Victoria says either Unsettled Ground, The Vanishing Heart, or The One-Armed Sister, whichever books my library have available the quickest. Uh, Mothgoff said, I really want to read Unsettled Ground, but it's still on order at my library. Might have to wait another few weeks or a month. Detransition Baby is waiting for me on hold now. Um, Lucy says, I think you'll love it, especially if you like The Salt Path. Um, I didn't really like the salt path. I found the narrator of the salt, the author of the salt path, very. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get on with her. Yvette says I should read Unsettled Ground too. It's set near me in Devices. Is that how it's said, Devices? Uh, Susanna said I'm reading Piranesi next. Definitely, I've been so excited to read it, and it's the only one of the shortlist I have on my shelf. Susanna. You're in for an absolute treat, babes. Steph said, I read two, and next I'm going to read Piranesi, and no one is talking about this. Two very different books. Um, Charlie says, I love how the one-armed sister sweeps her house. Uh, I have. I have how the one-armed sister sweeps her house out from the library to read. So we'll head to that one first. Jules says, The Vanishing Half. Joe says, thank you so much for hosting this live. So exciting. Thank you so much for joining in, gang. Um, and Kayla said, just ordered Piranesi, but I'm scared. Ha ha. Don't be scared. Immerse yourself in it. Have a lovely time. If it's not what you normally read, just give yourself a bit of time with it. See how you get on. I can't. Re I could read it again now. I could pick it up now. That's how much I loved it. Holly says, The Vanishing Half, and then I want to get to Unsettled Ground, but I'm not sure about if it's out in the States yet. Lovely stuff. So, yeah, thanks for joining me today, guys. As I said, Great British Menu and uh, Sewing Bees on telly tonight. Shall I start this? I think I might. I think I might. Amy says, I'm not a fantasy reader and Pyrenees is one of my new favourite books. Um, Unsettled Ground only comes out the 18th of May here in Canada. Oh, you've got a while yet. Um, so yeah, it's been lovely. Thank you so much. Um, again, thank you for all your lovely comments today on Instagram. You're all so wonderful. Um, my videos will be back up soon. I know I've got a, I've got a, a David and I did a buddy read, um, which I've got to put pull together. David's in a little towel. Do you want to just run in? No. <laughs> You're so cute. Go on. Wee! <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, David and I did a buddy read together and we filmed that. We filmed ourselves talking about um, the, uh, uh, the chapters we read every day. And I've still got last week's Cozy Reading Night to go up. Next Friday is the last Cozy Reading Night of the Stay at Home Club series. This is the third time we've done the Stay at Home Club Cozy Reading Night um, and it's been wonderful. This is the third one. David, you're really standing there. Are you waiting to ask me something? No. Are you just watching me? Just watching, watching your me. work. Oh, so cute. Um, yeah, and that is the last one in the series and it's going to be a sort of like ultimate Cozy Reading Night. It's going to be five hours. There's going to be a live aspect. So there'll be an hour live on um, YouTube. There'll be an hour live on Instagram. There's going to be all sorts going on. So yeah, that's next Friday. I wish I knew the bloody dates for this. I, I, that's something I need to learn is know the dates for stuff. The 7th of May. Um, so yeah, so please do join in with that. That's it from me. Thanks again. And yeah, I'll see you all again soon.